place like this would be hidden away at the top of that mountain trail. It's... breath. Oh, stop it, you. You're making me blush. Although, I suppose the old hometown is pretty amazing. Wait, you mean this is... It is indeed. Welcome to Arborea, home of the Keepers. The ones who watch over the world from beneath Yggdrasil's branches. And of Veronica and I. I always thought it was a little bit, well, dull. But it's good to be back. The altar in the vision we saw appeared to be in the highest part of the first forest, which lies just beyond the village. But we should stop off in Arborea before we head up there. Everyone will be ever so pleased when they find out the Luminary has come to visit. Oh, great and glorious Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is the source of all life, and to whom all life returns, we thank you for this gift. The withered leaves fall from your branches and fresh buds spring forth in their place. One life ends and another begins. O oh, mighty Mother Yggdrasil, we pray that you will bless this new bud, this child of Arborea. May he grow into a leaf worthy of your benevolent boughs. Ah! Well, well, our beloved twins return. And how long have you two been loitering there, pray? Good day, Holy Father. It's ever so nice to see you again. And everybody else, of course. Every... Uh -huh. As do you, my dear. But, Veronica, were you not... taller when last we met? Well, uh, It's a long story. Anyway, that's not important right now. What is important is that we did what you told us to. We found the luminary. The luminary. Can it really be? Oh, what a blessed day this is. Not only do we welcome a new life into the village, but the luminary also. I am Benedictus, High Priest of Arborea, and I have waited my whole life for this moment. Holy Father, on our travels we learned of a grave threat to this world. A being of pure evil who plots to throw all Erdria into turmoil. I see. So this Mordigan has corrupted the minds of Heliodor's best and boldest and is using his evil influence to turn the world against our friend here. Yes, but we think we may know how to defeat him. We have to go to the World Tree. A great power awaits us there. There's an altar somewhere in the first forest. We think we can use the orbs to get up to Yggdrasil. Ah, it is just as I dreamed it all those months ago. I saw you, my dears. You were climbing toward the Tree of Life, the luminary beside you. It was this vision that caused me to send you on your quest to seek him out. A vision surely granted unto me by mighty Yggdrasil herself. All is now clear. You were climbing toward the great altar of the first forest. And indeed, this is where you must go. The path to the forest 
lies beyond the cathedral, as of course you know. I will await you there. When you have all six sacred orbs in your possession, come to me, and I will show you the way.
honored luminary, shall we proceed? Tell a tale as old as Arborea itself. The tale of the luminary, a child chosen by mighty Yggdrasil, one sent to save us from disaster. Our friend here is not the first to be known by that name. No, the first was born long, long ago in the Age of Heroes. At that time, the world of Edria was beset by a being of purest darkness. A being who sought to steal the very source of life itself, the heart of Yggdrasil. And so, the World Tree marked out one among her children for greatness. Erdwin, the luminary of legend, he went forth to do battle with the Dark One. But he did not go alone. A band of heroes accompanied him. Among them, a mighty sage named Serenica. Veronica, Serena, your friend here is the Luminary Reborn. And together, you are the reincarnation of his companion. As for Mordekin, I suspect that it is his darkness that your friend, the latest in the line of luminaries, was born to banish. You must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. <laughs> 